Alrighty, there's that. Somebody else say something? Oh boy. We're good. Yay. Alrighty, that is fix. So fucking sorry. Wow, we have just wasted about an hour of time. And you guys <laughs> don't know what the hell is going on. So. Let's give a quick recap, and everybody's going to do a quick recap of where they, what's happened to them. So we're going to start with, um, we'll start with our handicapped first. So Shadow. Uh, I was in an explosion, woke up on a table with mind flares, and they were putting something funky on my hand, which is basically like a cool-ass lightsaber. And uh, I stole the captain's cigar because I'm like his face to Hannibal. And uh, now we're trying to get our friends out. Yep, the entire group is on a uh, the ship Our Lady Defiant. And they were accosted by a group of mind flayers on a nautiloid in wild space. Next, we have Kasun. Did I say that right? Off of memory? Yes, Kasun. Doesn't matter. Um, but I. So after seeing Shadow's arm get blown off, uh, I bandaged the wound and then had fingers blown off um, to the point to where it created necrosis. Um, and then I also woke up on a table and then our lovely captain busted open the door. Um, but before that, before that, um, the illithid had poured some liquid on my uh, hand and I suddenly gained more fingers than I was expecting, and a mouth formed in the palm of my hand, which we then tried to break out some other members of our crew, and all the while my character was poking at his hand, making sure it didn't talk again. And next, Seidel. Oh, the janitor of the crew got knocked out by the explosion, woke up and got a tadpole installed in his brain. And after seeing somebody transform, started to panic, but got knowledge of magic. And for some reason, he put on a hat that stopped all the pain. A hat with a floating brain inside. Don't forget that. A floating brain, but Sidon was like, I'm desperate for a head relief. Fuck it. <laughs> and last but not least, Gak. Uh, so Gak is a friendly plasmoid who found himself caught in an explosion. He woke up in a room full of oozes uh, encased in a humanoid shade glass tomb. Gak was the last to be saved, um, you know, a notion that he is not lost upon him, and had words with the captain. Um, he had just come across an orcish body when sound, uh, sound issues interrupted the scene. Yes. <laughs> so... You expect this orcish body with these prismatic wraps. Yes. It's on <laughs> you. Perfect. So what are you doing? So yeah. So like I said, I inspect the body. Once I see that an octopus head does not pop out, uh, very much like a ferret uh, as it climbs up and down a person, I am swish all over this orc body. And when I've stopped swishing, you'll notice that the prismatic wraps are no longer on this orc. They are on me. Okay. And for those of you with um, items that require to be attuned, you are already attuned to them. Fantastic. Just so you know. Uh, prismatic wraps of limbo. Uh, you can search in D&D Beyond. You don't have the, sec the lower power that adds additional dice of damage. You don't have that yet. Okay. okay. Um... Then we have the Spiritual Arm Blade for Shadow. Spare Thoughts is not in D&D Beyond yet. I will get that to you, though, Sean. Okay. And the Flesh Symbiote is not on D&D Beyond yet. I will get that to you as well, Josh. 
Alrighty. Um, I will build those during break. Gotcha. You guys see the captain set another explosive charge at another door. Does that door look like a butthole too? Absolutely. They're all buttholes here. It's <laughs> nothing but buttholes. <laughs> Going in, you see more of your people. The captain goes to uh, try to free them from their cages. Uh, you see a couple people. You see the first mate. The first mate named Elijah. Who is a... Um, what would they be? They would be... A, a dragonborn. It's going to be a uh, gold dragonborn. You see them with tentacles wrapped around their head and an illithid head right on top of their head as you see the first mate twitching and you know illithids are known throughout this place. You know what he's doing. He is eating his brain. You see a couple other smaller creatures. Looks like brains with four legs scuttering around the floor. And we need to roll initiative, but before that, we're going to take one quick break. I know it's still kind of early. We still got two hours, but I want to do a quick break before we jump right into combat. So we'll be right back in about five minutes. All right.
we are back. So, you guys have there one. Whoop, I'm on the wrong one. One second. Bam, there we go. Now it's actually animated and not just a frozen static picture that's not properly framed. Um, we are back. You guys are now in combat with a few intellect devourers and a mind flare. So let's go ahead and roll initiative. That is an 18 for Gak. 18 for Gak. Grab this. Nine. Side out. Alright, do we have anybody who beats a 19? Or 18, sorry. I do. Dirty 20. <laughs> I dropped drop my pen. Shit. And you said a nine there, Seidel? Yep. Uh, you're lucky. They go on eight. Alrighty. Gak, you are... Or I'm sorry, Kasun, you are up first. Alrighty, first, first action. Who's all here? Um... You have the captain, who is busy freeing some people from a cage. You have one mind flayer and two intellect of ours. Alrighty. Um, the mind uh, flayer has just thrown with his head the body of the first mate onto the floor. You can see that there's a hole in the first mate's skull, and the skull is empty. Okay. I am going to cast. First level bless on everyone except myself. So, Sidel, Shadow, and uh, Gak. Okay. And so, you watch as he sort of gestures with, Kasum sort of gestures with his new hand. Um, and like this, how can I describe this? Like a wave of twilight forms in front of his hand, and then he sort of like lifts up, uh, and the three of you are now surrounded with like this translucent, shimmering, twilight s energy. Very, very cool. You see, you feel yourself <sighs> take a couple deep breaths. This has been a stressful fucking day for you all, but you're like, you know what? Fuck these people. We're getting the hell out of here. Feel confident now. Alright, so that's your turn. Gak, you are up. Alright, so I am going to go over to the nearest um, creature to me. Uh, they are all equal distance from you. It's your choice. Mind Flayer or, uh, or Intellect Devourer. I will go for... Let's go for the marbles. Let's go for Mind Flare. Alright. And although you guys are not quite sure where you hear it from, you guys hear the gong of like a Japanese drum. <laughs> and you see, you could swear you see the kind of um, shadow of um, cherry blossom petals just kind of going in the wind as I strike. Now, quick question about Gak. What color mm -hmm. is Gak right now? <clears throat> So Gak is a lovely shade of blue, mm -hmm. but there has been a little bit of experimentation on him. So you kind of see where you would assume his face would be. Uh, a print of a red skull. It's not like super like aggressive looking, but he it's there. Okay. So most people will probably focus on that when speaking to him. All right. So you're going after the Mind Flayer. Go ahead and roll your yes. D12. Yes, let's do that. D12. Which one is my D12? It's the least shit. Okay. And that is a 12. Okay, 12. And 12 will be... I have to pull up the item now. Okay. The Prismatic Wraps of Limbo. Goes to 11. Freedom of choice at the beginning of the... Here we go. On 12, um, you can use whatever you want. Yep, you feel as your pseudopod 
is going to strike you. You feel these wraps constrict on you, but not in a painful way, more of a tightening up way. And you feel fire, cold, acid, thunder, lightning, slashing. You know that you could slash somebody with your fist now, or pierce, or force damage, or psychic, or poison. So, pick your poison. I kind of wish I would have studied mind flares and know what they're weak to. Um, I'm going to go with force. Force. Force, force uh, is a good one most of right. the time. Right. Go for it. <laughs> so first strike is going to be a 22 to hit. 22 hits. For eight force damage. Eight damage. Heard. Uh, there's more where that came from. For a nat 20. Nat 20, nice. So, let's see what this does. I thought you were playing Gak, not Ares. What the fuck? Right? <laughs> uh, that is... <laughs> that is 14. <laughs> <laughs> no, right? For real. 14 bludgeoning damage. Uh, nope. 14 force damage. Force damage, my bad. Force. It's the force. But I've always wanted to say this. I'm going to use uh, key points to do furry, <laughs> be, uh, flurry of bro blows. If I could talk. <laughs> okay, for two more strikes. Go for it. I shit you not, another nat 20. Nice, Damn. nice. <laughs> I'm glad I beefed put these me, guys up. Put me in a glass tomb. <laughs> this Nobody is the same one who did it. You, rec <laughs> you recognize a scar on the cheek? This is the one that was uh, experimenting you on, or on you. So I hit him hard for 12 points of first damage. 12, heard. And then my last blow. That is a 19 for a 28 to hit. That hits. Or 10 points of bludgeoning damage. All right, you oh, just seven, right. Seven. You see, just these pseudopods shoot out of Gak. Just boom, 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 boom. the mind flare falls down to one knee, looks back up, and you see blood dripping from its mouth. But you're not sure if it's its blood, but it's probably a mixture of its blood and the first mate's blood and brain matter. As it looks up to you with these pupilless black eyes. We go to Shadow. Alright. Bonus action. Blade Song. And for let's see, I'm going to next uh the cast haste on myself. Okay. So you are now faster, harder to hit. Does that complete your turn? Uh, can I do a cantrip also? Um, well, you already use your bonus action and your action. Okay. So if you have a cantrip that doesn't require either of those, then yes. But I don't think you do. Okay. Then I will be done. All right. Seidel. Uh, so, how far are each of them away, away from me? Uh, very close. Uh, 20 feet is the, is probably, 20 to 25 feet is the farthest one. Uh, this is a small room, so. I'm sorry if you hear thunder in the background. There is a massive storm because, well, that's Florida life. Yay for Florida! <laughs> we are Florida. Um, but um, bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Uh, so, Sidel is just going to take a deep breath and look at the one that's furthest away from him. Okay. Is it going to be an intellect devourer or a the elephant? Well, uh, one of the intellect devourers, because he sees that Gak is just wailing on this one. Yeah, I, I would say so. You just see this blob of Gak and you see this boop, 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 boop. 
Lydell is just going to take a deep breath because he just learned uh, his magic. And go 30 feet as a bonus action with Dark Transport. Ooh, nice. And I believe Dark Transport has something else. Let me you see. You briefly turn into a flurry of ravens, a dark mist similar. You teleport up to 60 feet, forming a 10 foot wide line behind you. Creatures that you designate in that line must succeed a Constitution saving throw. Alrighty, Constitution saving throw. What's the DC? Uh, 16. 16. I'm going old school, and you might see some flickering. Hopefully, we, I don't lose internet access here because the storm is getting pretty bad. Yeah. If it's not so great here. If we do lose internet, we will pick up exactly where we left off on uh, next week. And I know normally I don't do this till the end of the session, but because the storm's bad, um, next week is our off week, and then the following week we will pick up exactly where we're at. We've left off. So. All right, so that is a total of an eight. So they fail. Yep. They take three D10 necrotic damage. Oof. For a total of 21 necrotic damage. And I'm not even shitting you. 21 is their exact hit points. You see... So, go ahead, Nightsfall. Well, no, go ahead. Describe your spell, and I'll describe what happens to the intellect of our. So... All of you just see, well, uh, Caro and Shadow, you guys just see, I don't just take a deep breath and just go straight forward as a giant flurry of ravens. By the way, it's like the Bowers. Seidel has been the janitor, nothing else. They have not ever casted a spell. They have not lifted a wade or a blade. They have been nothing but the janitor. Just so you know. What the fuck? And as these ravens pass this in, this brain with limbs, you see it's as if all the moisture in it has been drained out of it. It starts to dry and crack, and this leg it falls on the ground. The legs curl up like a dead spider as it starts to crack and turn into dust. Utterly destroyed. And then, uh, because that was a bonus action spell, oddly uh -huh. enough. Yep. I'm going to use a sorcery point for a cantrip. Okay. Uh, twin spell. You can spend up to one sorcery point equal to spell level, one for a cantrip, to target a second creature in range of the same spell. Oh, it has to hit more than one creature. Got it. Mm-hmm. I don't believe any of my cantrips can do that. Uh, well, with Twin Spell, uh, your cantrips are... Let me pull up your character sheet. My cantrips are Mind Sliver, Shocking Grasp, and Fireball, as far as damage, uh, damaging ones. Mind Sliver will work. Uh, because what Twin Spell is... you uh, Fireballs as well. Um, what that does is that it creates two of them. And as long as it targets only one person... You can twin it to target a second person. Okay, so I can use Firebolt on the other two guys, right? Correct. So I'm going to do that. Let me mark off a sorcery point first. Okay. Then you see Seidel lift uh, his hand up. Well, is Seidel he, him, or...? Uh, he's a he. Seidel right. is just going to look back and then just point his hand to the first thing he sees, which I assume is the Mind Flare. Mm-hmm. And go for a firebolt. As you see, a uh, little at the point of their fingertip, a little ball of fire appears and shoots out right after it leaves his hand. You see it split into two one going towards a mind flare, one going towards the intellect of power. Go and roll your to hits. Uh, the first one was a 12 to hit. 12, it bounces off the mind flare's breastplate with no damage. And the second you do one, have bless, by the way. Oh yeah, you add a d4, and d Wait, add d4? that because you yeah you might hit. It's possible. I'll roll a d4. That'll make the twelve a total of fifteen. Fifteen will hit. Fifteen is the rolled, exact AC. I already rolled it the second time to hit, but I assume with twenty-five hits. Yeah, absolutely. Roll your damage. So, first one's gonna do. 
Nine points of fire damage. Okay. In the mind flare. Got it. And on the intellect devourer, it's going to be thirteen. Thirteen. All right, they are both still up, but both very hurt. Does that? How the fuck did I do that? Does that complete? Fucking awesome. All right, we're gonna go with the intellect devourer first. The intellect devourer will um, target. Let's see. We're gonna go with a D four. We're gonna go uh, in order of how I see you on Discord. So it's gonna be Kasun is one, Sidel is two, Gak is three, and uh, Shadow is four. So let me go to. That is a one. So that is going to Kasun. I need Kasun to make an intellect saving throw. Alrighty. That's a six. That's a six. That is a failure. You take. Eight total psychic damage and then I need you to roll 3d6 3d6 can do fuck 16 <laughs> what's your intellect uh 13 all right Shit. you your intellect score is now zero and you are stunned <laughs> Until you regain one point of intellect. You see this creature, this brain on four limbs, run, scamper up. <laughs> very creepy. Very creepy. Towards uh, Kasun. And when he's within ten feet, you see it wiggle and convulse. And as it does so, you see Kasun just kind of almost get hypnotized by it and then poof, his head snaps back and you see a little bit of drool coming out of his mouth as he just stands there so is it safe to say I lose concentration on bless <laughs> uh, no you uh, let me see stun does not make you lose concentration okay your hand can talk though so feel free to talk through your hand <laughs> And your hand can still do its thing as well. Gotcha. Uh, next is going to be the Mind Flayer. The Mind Flayer is going after Gak. <laughs> that, that, that's just going to happen. <laughs> so, what it's going to do, actually, is it's going to... It shifts its way a little bit. So it gets three of you. Um, it'll get three of you in its cone. As you see, as you feel just the force of its psychic powers assault your head. I need intellect saving throws from the rest of you. Right, everyone, make, that. everyone makes intellect saving throws. Hooray! 23. Oh. 23 passes. Dirty 20. Dirty 20 passes. 16. 16 just passes. You do not take 44 or 48 plus 4 psychic damage and you're not stunned. Did you mean 4d4 or 4t4? Four 4d8. Four four? Four okay. Oh. Or Well, either way. That would suck. That would have... Man. Sorry, I'm having issues with my damn phone. All right. I mean, it would have sucked for you guys, but uh, I'm resistant to psychic damage. Mm hmm. All right. That brings us back to the top of the round. Kasun, what is your hand doing? Because you ain't doing shit. <laughs> I'm not doing shit. Um. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> your hand can actually speak to and tell the party what's going on with you. 
Uh, hey guys, this was kind of dumb. It's a little, a little slow. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Uh, oh shit. It can't be removed from me. I don't think. The hand? No. Can I cast? Can can the hand cast vicious mockery? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, that's what I would do. Um, let me think of something real fast. All right, you see uh, Seidel, who is just, like, his head is cocked to the side, drool coming out. You see the hand kind of lift itself up. It's like his arm is, the rest of his arm is limp. It's very, it's very odd looking. And you see this mouth appear. And he says, hey, this guy's kind of fucking dumb now. What the fuck? I can see that. And what does the hand say to Vicious Mockery? And who does he Vicious Mockery? He Vicious Mockery is the one in front of him, like... The, um, the intellect devourer that drained your intellect? Yeah. Uh, leave this one alone. He's already dumb enough. <laughs> That's a... He mocked you and not even the thing. He's, like, attacking. <laughs> All right, and what's the saving throw? At 13, I think. 13 what? Uh, I think it's wisdom. All right, let's use the Vecna die. Ew. That is an 11. So it fails. So that's, at this level, Vicious Mockery, would that be 2d4? Um, Cause I, think, I think at 1 through 4, it's a d4, and then at 5... If it's like a cantrip, I think that's how it works. Because that's how most cantrips are. Once you reach like level 5, you got another damage dice. It should be 2d4. Let me see. 2d4, yes. Please be good. Mm, five. <laughs> five points to psychic damage. Hey, five, five points. 50%. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, there's not much else I can do. I'm stunned. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, next is going to be Gak with an 18. Let's roll that d12, see what we're doing. At least it wasn't you, Heidi. <laughs> <laughs> that is another 12, so dealer's choice. That is going to be more force damage. Alright. Can I roll some sort of check to see if force damage was like a good choice? Uh, you can roll an insight. Okay, let's do that. Can you imagine Ares with these, though? <laughs> oh, yeah, Ares with Jake. So, yeah, I don't think I gleaned much of anything. I got an 8. They got a 12 on their deception. Or, I'm sorry, they got a 10 on their deception. Um, it seems to be working, though. All right. I mean, he's definitely so, yeah. taking damage. All right, so we're going to force it up again. First strike. Uh, 26 to hit. 26 hits. For 11 points of damage. 11, heard. Okay. I am going to go ahead and use a key point to do stunning strike. Uh, right. So I need you to make a con saving throw for me. What's the DC? 13, it's not much. Uh, 15. Yep, you make that. All right, next strike. Ooh, 13. 13 does not hit. Okay. See, it glances off the breastplate that he's wearing. You do have oh, bless. Oh, you, you do, do have bless. bless. Yep. Roll D4. Oh, Everybody has bless. <laughs> <laughs> you do, you're just waiting. Bless, bless, bless. So that's a plus four, so that should bring me to 17 to hit. 17 hits. Okay. So one good thing I did before I went dumb. <laughs> <laughs> The order of confusion. Die, die. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and try again. Another stunning Well, strike. how much damage first? Uh, seven. How do you want to do this? Oh, okay. Let me take that back. Um, so we're going to do this straight up dragon style. Like I, like I do like a backhand punch to the face, another backhand punch to the face, and then a Johnny Cage like 
punch right through his skull. <laughs> Interesting. As you see Gak just two, 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 and then brings both of his fists up and just demolishes. You see the pseudopods go through the head and the brain of the mind flare goes splattering out and dripping out of its skull. Utterly, utterly dead. Utterly, utterly dead. I'm going to use my movement to go to the nearest brain intellect devourer. You see it, it's starting to, like it's almost ready to pounce onto Kasun. Or Kasun. Kasun. Um, It is about to jump into Kasun's body and devour its brain and take over its body. We're going to flurry of blows him. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and strike. That is 14 to hit. 14 hits. Done. And I'm going to mute myself For real quick because I have to take a quick call. Eight points. It is still up. Go and do your second attack, and I will be right back. <laughs> Why does that dice forsake me? You have bless. Yep. I can do that in every attack? Yep. Oh, nice. Eric's the best support. Yes. Yeah. So that brings me to a 16 to hit. 16 hits. All right, let's go ahead and strike. For 10 force damage. How do I want to do this, you ask? Oh, I just smash it straight <laughs> into the ground. <laughs> I'm just glad I did bless. Jesus Christ, that's Damn, com- no kidding. <laughs> I didn't realize how OP bless is. That is an amazing spell. I can't use it uh, often as Hondir because I'm always last in initiative. And you guys kill everything before then. Yeah, I went. I went pure heels. Um, Alrighty. Uh, and how much damage did you do? Oh, I don't remember. I want to say ten bludgeoning. You split the brain in half as it falls to its side. In fact, the force of your damage, you punch, and you hit the brain, and the back half of the intellect devourer blast out as if your punch had. A concussive force that went through this entire body. Somewhere in the distance, you just hear the call, Mortal Kombat. Hit Kasun in the face. <laughs> this is this <laughs> the. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, you always did the Johnny Cage fatality. I somehow did the smoke fatality. <laughs> yes. And you guys did forget about the one female who was with you. Um, uh, Quan. This human female comes up, <sighs> looks at Kasun. Oh no! Oh, Can, it just looks at um, Kasun. Tries and puts her hand on your face and moves it so you're looking at her. Can I help you? Is that okay? Do you guys uh, mind? Uh, Please do uh, so. As she casts restoration upon you, you get your (laughs) intellect back. Are you okay? Let me fix my intelligence. (laughs) (laughs) Don't even know how to respond to that. I've been dumb for a minute. (laughs) Oh, wait, look! As you see, her body starts to change. She's no longer... She's humanoid. But her skin isn't the same color. It looks like a galaxy inside. You see stars. And she shoots her hand out as you see this light of just pure starlight shoot out and blast another intellect devourer that was just creeping off, creeping up to Kasun, Blasting it where the brain is gone and just the four limbs just fall to the ground. 
and she reverts back to her normal form. Uh, you okay now? Uh... Thanks? <laughs> well, you can thank me by telling me, WHAT THE FUCK ARE WE DOING HERE? WHAT THE F- WHERE THE FUCK ARE WE? Uh, I, I got a hand! <laughs> Look. Yeah, we don't know. The cap just saved us. Captain? And then we came here. When the hell did we get to the ocean? I was in a city! Wait, what are you talking about? I was city. in... We, we're a crew of a, spit, of a of a ship. A ship? I, I was just in... I, I was just in Fairhaven. I attempt to calmly explain to her what's going on, but it comes out as wah 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 wah. What the hell is that? She that's starts Gak. to get ready to cast a spell. Oh, that's Gak. He's a friend. What the? Look. What the? I, I was just in the city. There was a alarm bells, and the warforged were running. And then there's these tentacles. And then it was on... I was here! Did you get hit in the head? No. I reckon she's in the same boat as us. Got abducted? Well, obviously we're on a... been here. You guys have your own boat? Can, can, can you... It's not exactly a boat, per se. But I guess if you need transfer, we can ask the captain. Captain? You did say... Let's go! Fight yeah. to the... Fight to the... Our Lady! Fight to the Defiant! Yeah. As you guys are... The captain is starting to lead people through, running through this butthole-infested ship. Yeah. As you guys get to the top. Quan is just... She's definitely distraught, but she is saying, fuck it, we'll deal with it later. And you guys are running. And as you get to the top of the the deck of this nautiloid, you see her eyes go wide. And you recognize that look. Because you all had this look at one point in time in your life. Some of you as children because you have lived amongst the stars here in the Astral Sea. This is the look of somebody who has never been here before. Who has never been in wild space. So, uh, space virgin, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah? What the fuck? Yeah, I knew I shouldn't have had those mushrooms. Yeah. When hallucinating. It's, it's a mind fuck, regardless <laughs> of whether you imbibed in a little recreational, you know, something, something, or not. As you but see... Yeah, space. Stars. The Defiant has is being wrapped by these tentacles. You see some members of the crew start to hack away at these tentacles. The captain's up on the nautiloid still with you. Everybody over! Get on the Defiant! And he's holding, uh, he's taking shots at other illithids, other creatures that are starting to come up out of the ship and you're definitely outnumbered here. And he's yelling at everybody to go over, go across, hurry, hurry! If you have more questions, I suggest, I suggest you come with us, lady. Don't have I to gently nudge her forward. Oh, she Definitely she goes. Anybody <laughs> else? That's for sure. You see, she casts a quick spell, and on her, and she jumps, and she jumps a lot longer than what you think people should be able to. Like tr doubles her jumps, uh, her jump uh, distance, as she jumps over to the Defiant. Gak, what I are you doing? Ask. I'm hauling ass. I, I want to say that I grabbed onto her, but I, I know it would be a bit too late. Oh, no, um, you you can do that. You can... All right, yeah, so as, as soon as I saw her jump, I just latched on, and you just see this glob, like, just enjoying the ride behind her. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> um, How far is it to find from me, exactly? Ten feet. Um, Easily jumpable without a roll. 
Uh, Side out was just gonna jump for the ship. All right. You jump for the ship. Um, you land on a tentacle, but you're able to grasp onto it. I'm not gonna have you go flying through space. Um, you're on the oh, defy. I would have missed. I could. I could have just used dark transport again. Exactly. Don't you like that spell? Oh, I have it too. I'm like. <laughs> I don't know how I got a kill with it, but I did. <laughs> Such a good it has spell. A hell of damage to it. Such a good spell. You remember that spell, Brian? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kasun, what are you doing? Uh, I can make this jump without making a roll, right? Correct. Uh, I'm probably going to be like Captain. Um, we we need need to go. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Get the fuck over. Go. No. As he's shooting in, there's still other crew members coming up. Captain's not leaving till his crew's gone. Ah, uh, fuck it. And Kasoon will, Kasoon will make a jump. All right. Uh, next Shadow. Oh, Shadow's jumping. All right. You guys all are on the Defiant. You look back just in time to see the captain freeze up as he gets hit with a mind blast. As you see a larger illithid, this one with more tentacles than the others, reach his hand out to the captain and drags the captain psychically to him. It's like this creature is looking at each and every one of you as its tentacles wrap around your beloved captain's head. And you hear, even from far away, <coughs> the breaking of his skull. What do you guys do? How far is the ship away from where this is? 40, 50 feet. Uh, I'm gonna firebolt that fucker. Roll it. Uh, Fourteen to hit. You see the firebolt comes up and this creature who is feasting on your captain right now just throws up his hand and deflects it. At this point in time, the last of the tentacles have been removed from the Defiant. You see a kobold run up to you all by the name of Rack. You know Rack is the spelljammer for your ship. He is the one attuned to the spelljammer um, throne. What are we doing? Captain! Act, let's just get everyone on the ship and I guess get out of here and figure out what we're going to do. The ship is heavily, heavily damaged. However, with spell Spelljammer rules, if it has one hit point, it can still fly. Okay, okay. Rack gets into the, the chair, which is molded out of this tree ant. Okay, big buddy, we gotta go. We gotta go. As he sits down, the ship starts to hum to life. Okay, little buddy. The tree ant speaks. As the ship starts to pull away. The last image you see is this creature tossing the body of your captain down to the ground as he stares at your ship. And you guys enter hyperspeed. The entire this leadership. This ass is going to be mine one day. I will find that fucker. He will pay for that. Make a perception check, all of you. Perception? Mm-hmm. 
Dirty 20. Dirty 20, nice. 13. 13. Net 20 with a 6, so 26. Nice. 19. 19. Okay, so everyone, you will see a marking on the side of this nautiloid as you guys leave. It's going to be three claw marks going down from the upper right to the lower left with a single um, with a starburst around it. As and I you... fucking love that candy. <laughs> <laughs> Pink ones are the best ones. Yeah, that was the color of the brain too, so. Ew. <laughs> Just the next time you eat a pink starburst, I want you to think of that. It's the captain's brain. It'll be far enough away, I'll probably forget. <laughs> you guys are in hyperspace now. The ship is heavily damaged. The air that you're breathing. The Triant is pushing out as much fresh air as possible, but it is he's hurt too. Because he is the ship. You guys know that you only have a few days of fresh air left. Where are you going? To the nearest port. That would be the Rock of Brawl. So, we have a few days travel. Two days. During this time, Quan will show up and approach you all. And by the way, the leadership of this ship is gone. First mate, second mate, captain, dead. The entire crew gathers at the seat of the spelljammer. Okay, and this is Rack speaking. I think we all need to have a discussion here. For sure. We're, we're heading towards the Rock of Brawl so we can get our Lady Defiant fixed. Does everybody agree with that? Are there any... Any objections to that? No. All right. And you see everybody's shaking their head. Well, we have to decide who's going to be captain now. Yak raises a pseudopod. <laughs> I mean, I reckon Shadow, because Shadow was close to the captain. Gak lowers his pseudopod. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we have one vote for Shadow. Does anybody vote for anyone else? You see most of the other crews like... Eh. They're kind of defeated. You've lost more than half your crew. All right. If there's no other takers, Gak, you you don't want to be captain anymore? Gak shakes his head the way that a puppy would. Okay. Gak, you're welcome to it if you want it, my man. Gak looks at you, thinks about it for a moment, and then shrinks even further down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, you, you, you could be first mate, Gak. At that, Gak will rise up like a puppy dog and <laughs> go up to Shadow and do the equivalent of a puppy lick to, sh to Shadow. <laughs> Think right. of Gak like a pet more than a person and you, you got the right idea. <laughs> That's fucked, but okay. <laughs> Alright, Captain. Well, fuck. I'm gonna dig around to see if I can find some of Captain's cigars. <laughs> as as you head towards his um, the captain's quarters, the rest of the crew is just 
kind of stunned standing there. Before you go into the quarters, uh, Rack will say, you might want to say something to him. It's very softly, so only you can hear. Well, guys, I know this is fucking kicking the shorts. But we're going to get we'll get those bastards. We got to get the ship fixed up. We need some intelligence. I don't know when. Won't be long. We'll get our revenge. See a, a couple uh, of the crew, they have some very stoic nods. Like, yeah, get those bastards. I know we've all lost someone we care about. Some of us, multiple people we care about. Nobody takes our shit from us. Nobody makes us bleed our own blood and gets away with it. <laughs> uh, you see, Quan raises her hand. Yes, ma'am. Um, can someone tell me where the fuck are we? Gak raises his hand to say, I'll take this one. He goes, wah, 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 And then, like, makes these big gestures like he's actually explaining something. Uh, wah, 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 she'll, wah, she'll put wah, her wah, hand wah. up for a second. <laughs> cast another spell. And now she can understand you. Kick ass. <laughs> so, as I was saying, <laughs> we are in what is called the Astral Sea which is in a huge expense. And I just kind of explained the whole situation in a very posh voice. <laughs> and she starts saying, wah, 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 which Gak... You can somehow communicate with Gak. Which Gak, you hear... That is amazing. I, I, my... So you're telling me there's different worlds? Yes, there's positively many, many worlds out there. There's worlds where I come from, worlds where everybody comes from. It's amazing, except for the Mind Flayers. They are not good. <laughs> well, we had some on my world, but well, my people were able to hunt them easier because, well, my brain doesn't is a little bit more fortified than most. That's because of my passenger. Your passenger, you say? Oh, yes, I'm a color star. Fascinating. Would you have never, anything never about heard of that before? <laughs> never. Do you tell me more in, in the back away from where Quan can see me? I'm going to motion with one of my tentacles and do the crazy thing so that Shadow can see <laughs> me? <laughs> well, a, a long time ago, my people. Uh, found these well for lack of a better term spirits that dealt in um dealt in the dreaming and we were able to bond our spirit to their spirit we don't really communicate it's not like having two different minds but while i can't dream he does guide me not going to lie that sounds like a mind flare well, there's no tentacles. There's no physical manifestation. And this is all like... <laughs> complete with the arm flails, too. That's part of the primordial language. Yeah, going... Without the arm flow is an insult to my people. So exactly. Yeah. She's doing... She's she's fluent with the spell. <laughs> she's fluent. Um, they're, they're definitely benevolent. Uh, in the dreaming there's a a part where nightmares live and it's our purpose to seal that away from the physical realm and it's to the stars here that I find guidance and I feel invigorated being out here actually but I need to get home 
So then the question becomes, where is home? Uh, well, my, I live in the city of Fairhaven. It's on a, um, what we call our world, Eberron. It was crafted by um, dragons. And... <laughs> you okay there, Josh? Nothing. <laughs> nope. Um, it's a fantastic world. And at this point, the spell fades. And she just goes to speaking common again. <laughs> and the she looks at her arms as they stop flailing. Oh, I, I'm sorry. Uh, limited duration for that. Um, Eberron is a place of mechanical marvels. This is going to take some getting used to. Do you mind if I, um... Tag along with you until I find my way home. I know we're just gonna look at Shadow because he knows that's her call. You are more than welcome to come with us. Huh. So at this point in time, the door. Yeah, the door is open to the captain's quarters. You all are outside the captain's quarters at this point, and you do spy. Out of the corner of your eye, a box of the cigars that the captain, Captain Lack, kept. And we are going to fast forward these two days. <laughs> uh, during these two days, what exactly do you guys do? Is there anything you want to take care of? Any role-playing opportunities? Um, I'm assuming you're doing maintenance on the ship, just trying to keep it moving. Uh, is there a way that I can, let's see, I, maybe I'll have to go through my spells, but so that I can communicate with the first mate <laughs> back and forth. Uh, you would need the spell comprehend languages, I believe. Okay. Yeah, I've got it. I'll spend my time learning that. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, um, you see, Quan has actually been working on a magical device that would aid Gak in talking, but it's going to take a little bit of time. And in reality, it's going to take Gak wanting this device to see if it works or not. Gak, do you want a device that will basically be a universal translator? Yeah, I imagine this gimmick's going to get old real quick. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's make a roll then, real quick. Okay. Oh well, that's a natural nineteen. Ah, huh. so this item will be an actual fluid. Uh, Quan will come up to you with a syringe. I I know you just met me, but if I inject this with you, you'll be able to communicate and. Three different lang three other languages, if you like. Actually, I take I'm sorry. You'll be able to communicate with anybody with an that has intellect. So you see, Gak take on the form of what can only be described as Popeye the Sailor Man, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then he does the thing where he sits and he puts his arm just ready to take the shot. Like mm. <laughs> you get injected, and the fluid starts to mix with your internal fluids. And this is right before you guys get to the Rocket Brawl. You what color am I now? It doesn't change your color. Ah, okay. You are now, unless you're under great stress, and it's going to be up to you whether you're under great stress or not, are able to communicate with anything with an intellect of four or higher. Nice. All right. Anything else anybody wants to do on these two days of travel? I want to go on an epic adventure with the sole goal of getting one of the cigars, but we could do that as a one-shot at a future date. <laughs> all right, sure. sounds good. You guys um, also will have I time. Want Athena back. Uh, you can summon Athena back. Uh, Kasun will approach Captain Shadow. Um, so fucking mind trippy to hear. <laughs> um, 
Now, now, quick question, DM. Mm-hmm. Is Rack the navigator or yes, just he, the? Okay. He's he's the navigator. He is the one attuned to because you're you're required to be able to cast spells. You need to be a spellcaster to attune to the spell jammer helm. Um, the captain could not. So Rack, and Rack is more. He's um, he's a druid and a sorcerer. Uh, he okay. doesn't really have any combat-oriented spells. His spells are more maintenance. Like he, you see him doing mending on the ship a lot. He has a symbiotic relationship with the Treant, who and the Treant's name is what you guys choose. Um, what was the name of your druid, Josh, in that one shot that we did? Uh, Leafly. I think it was. Yep. Leafly. Leafly yeah. Bottom? <laughs> no, I think it was a Leafly Fabble Stabble. It was some <laughs> weird name. <laughs> Fabble Stabble. Rubble <laughs> Rubble. Alright, so Leafly. Yep. Um, Rack has a um, symbiotic relationship with Leafly. Uh, he takes care of him, prunes uh, his branches that get too big uh make sure he gets plenty of sunlight uh sometimes he flies a little bit closer to his sun than you all would like but that's what the tree ant needs to eat so and i'm working on creating your magical items now you guys have enough time to attune and understand all of them shadow takes you a little bit but you have learned how to swap your blade to a hand not requiring a bonus action. It's a free action. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, Captain? Yeah, what's if, up? If, um, I, I, I know I spend a, a lot of time in the kitchen, but, uh, I might be able to help with, um, uh, f- fixing the ship. Um, if you if if you want me if you want me to. Um, so. Other than, uh, okay. Um, and I uh, I I you know uh, y- you know I've I've been on on the ship for a while. Um, I might be able to. Uh, help out with navigating if you need need me to. Um, I think that is a spectacular idea. I think, given recent events, it's smart to have some backup. You know, people trained. Um, you will have to train your replacement in the kitchen. Uh, uh, okay. I say uh, this as the first mate. <laughs> like, like, actually say that? Like, yeah, like, like, I, oh. like yep, the device is working. Uh, oh, uh. Oh, that's right. I talk now. Yes. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I could, I could do that. Uh, um, I, I'm gonna go, um, s- s- see ya. And I just yeah. sort of, like, dip out. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate it. Um, and I go and try and cast as much mending on the ship as I can. Okay. You definitely um, aid in, with uh, mending. Uh, the ship is not in danger of falling apart before you get to the Rock of Brawl. Um... Let me. I'm almost done with all this, so I'm just going to try to get this out. Knock this out real quick. Is Sidel doing anything? Sidel? Sidel is just sticking to what he normally does, but. He still doesn't feel right after what happened back there. Oh, Sidebell's still wearing that creepy-ass hat? (laughs) 
I mean, yeah. Uh, I need you to also choose um, Arcana, History, Nature, Religion. Uh, I'm already proficient in Arcana, so it's between History and Religion, right? Yep. Uh, let's go... History. Let's see. Done. Same changes. All right. Now I just have to add these magical items to your character sheets, and that way you guys can read them and use them as you see fit. Um, Gak and Shadow, you guys should already have those items. Oh, let's check. I believe. Uh, you guys also have everything else that was all of your equipment back now. Okay. Nice. I feel like you tell us. Okay. Let me refresh. Uh, then I no might block? not have put it on you, so... I will do That's... that now. Uh... Because soon you see the flesh symbiote is now on your character sheet. Feel free to refresh and read it up on it. Gak, Alrighty. I am adding your item now. No, your item is there. Prismatic Wraps of Limbo. I already added that before. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I didn't... I'm I, assuming we've had a long rest, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Now I have to go back to campaigns. You guys approach the Rock of Brawl. This place is a lawless paradise. With, again, the only stipulation is that beefs are not handled within the city. And Seidel, Spare Thoughts is on you as well. You shudder into the port. And it's at this point in time that you can really take a moment and appreciate how much damage the ship has taken. There are chunks missing from it. The dock master will approach. All right, what do we got here? Oh, a damaged ship, obviously. <laughs> yes, I know that. The name? Oh, it is uh, Our Lady Defiant. Captain? Shadow Starlight. Isn't that a bit derivative from where we're at? That's fine. Who am I to say... Um, all right, and how long will you be staying? Approximately two weeks. Two weeks, okay. Will that be payment up front? Oh, she want to talk to the captain for that one. <laughs> all right, well, then get the captain. Uh, Starlight? Starbright? First star that I see tonight? <laughs> wish I may, wish I might? <laughs> What's up? Well, are you pay are you paying up front? Does everybody pay up front? Well, we can't start on the repairs unless you pay us. So, how much are we looking at for payment? Well, docking fee is going to be fifty gold, and the repairs, oof, oof. I don't want to give you a quote on that now until I actually inspect. But you're looking at a couple hundred easily. Maybe a couple thousand. Now it seems like a prudent time to ask, does the ship have any money? <laughs> the ship <laughs> yeah. will have coffers. You'll have approximately 358 gold. How much would it be to do so that we don't die in space, but we don't necessarily need the bells and whistles? <laughs> I will do a full inspection, come back tomorrow, and I'll have a quote for you. 
Um, I will take 50 gold now, though, for the docking fee. 50 gold. You got it. Pay the man. Second mate, uh, Kasun, uh, pay the man. Uh, (laughs) 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 Okay, um, now, Congrats now. on the promotion from janitor to second mate. <laughs> or from cook to second um, mate. Yeah. Hi. Um. I'll pay the dude. I have ten gold. Thank All you. Right. You pay the fifty gold. All right. I be back tomorrow midday. But I need your crew to unass the ship. Pretty sure that means leave. <laughs> yep. And Rack will be like, well, I- I'll stay. I'll stay with the ship. And you know Rack normally does stay with the ship. And him being attuned to the Spelljammer helm, no one else can attune to it, therefore the ship will be safe. Well, there we go. We'll check on you. Uh, you see a half-orc come up to you. Uh, Shadow. Um, uh, Captain. Uh, I'm thinking... um, Well, And he looks kind of nervous. Well, I... I, I, A little bit. A little bit. Um, I I appreciate all you've done. You got us out of a tight scrape and all that, but I'm thinking I might look for employment elsewhere. certainly be a huge loss to us if you left. Isn't there anything we could do to change your mind? And no offense, Captain, but you're running a bare-bones crew crew here, and uh, we we ain't got no money. Um, I I just think it's better for me to hitch up with another crew. I, I, I got some kinfolk in this town. And no worries about paying me my last, my last paycheck. I know how hard up. I just want to, you know, cut ties on the right side. No burnt bridges. How about this? If you don't find anything that strikes your fancy in a week, come back. We're gonna try to get things turned around. Fair enough. That's fair. Where where can I call you on? Um, as a player, where will we be? <laughs> you remember there is a bar sla- or tavern slash hotel, basically, uh, in the city. It, it's a little it's cheaper than what you're used to because well you are you're thinking it's going to take all of the coffers and then some to fix the ship up. Um, this place is mm, called the Chuckling Guppy. <laughs> There's one of those in every one of my worlds. It's my franchise. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, uh, you heard of the Chuckling Guppy? Oh, of course! They got the great cuttlefish shot! I mean, it's like one of those places, you know? They're all over. That's where we'll be. And if you can't find us there, just come here and... Oh, I know it well. Most of the crew stays there. I, I know some of you uh, have a little bit higher taste, but it'll be nice to see you in the dirt every now and then. Yeah, I come from the dirt. I'm comfortable with the dirt. <laughs> and this place, the Chuckling Guppy, is definitely... This is more of your deckhands hangout. Um, Seidel, you've probably been there before. Uh, but the rest of you, this place, you have, because of your stations on the ship, at, well, Kasun, you will probably have been there as well, and Gak. So Shadow, probably not. <laughs> um, your station on the ship was elevated, so you got a bigger pay cut. So you, when you have stayed in the Rock of Brawl, you've been in a little nicer accommodations. Not, not fancy, but nicer. You all disembark. Quan will just hang around you guys because, well, she doesn't know what the hell. 
as you disembark, you start to see what you normally see in the Rocket Brawl. Races of all different types. You have goblins. You even see a Mind Flayer now and then. But they're just walking through like everybody else. You see them with a, sh a shopping basket. Buying different items. Are they walking or are they floating? Both. Gotcha. Okay. Um... You see, they do have different markings on them, and none of them are the markings that you saw. The three slashes with the sunburst around it, or starburst around it. Uh, you see um, a couple angels walking around. You see a demon or two. As you guys get to the chuckling guppy. You find yourselves a table in the outside. The Chuckling Guppy is a multi-floored tavern, and it has an outdoor seating area. Outside, you find a table that fits all of you. Everyone takes a seat. I'm going to get on top of the table and just make an announcement. Hey, everybody! I talk now! Ah! Well, of course you've always talked, Gak. It's just we couldn't understand you. See a couple people look up. Yeah, good for you, buddy. Fully satisfied, I sit back down. <laughs> as soon as Gak does that, like, Kasun just sort of, like, slinks into his chair. Um, so what's, um, what's good here? Depends. I don't know what your budget is. <laughs> uh, I, I've got a couple platinum. I like to get the double quarter guppy with cheese. Um, <laughs> large ale. I think the better question is, are you a fan of fish? Um, well, fish is okay. So at this point in time, you see a bugbear come up. Female bugbear. Hi, how are you all doing? What can I get you? We're doing somewhat good. We got someone who's never been here before, so <gasps> any recommendations for We him? have a new person at the Chuckling Guppy. And she starts ringing a cowbell. <laughs> you have to try the cuttlefish shot. It is a tradition. We'll all try the cuttlefish shot. Outstanding. That will be, let's see, one, two, three, four... Five. That will be twenty-five gold, please. Second mate. <laughs> uh, 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 Side out will pass you five gold for his. Here's my share. Uh, I, I've got it. I've got it. As you see, sure. Quan hit. Um, reaches into her pouch and pulls out uh, twenty-five platinum. And starts Ooh. picking out. Here you go. And leaves a platinum tip. Oh. We got a big tipper over here. <laughs> As you see the bartender start to come out. Now the bartender doesn't have legs. Doesn't have arms. You see a spherical body with one large eye and multiple eye tentacles coming up out of its head. Well, golly me, we got some big tippers here. And y'all want the cuttlefish shot out freaking standing. See, one of the te eye tentacles goes down, shoots a beam at the shots, and they start to levitate towards you. Um, Kasun will raise his hand. Um, could, uh, avoiding eye contact, um... Could you make mine a double, please? Oh, we got a brave one here. Double. You got it, buddy. Kasun, I want a double, too. Kasun, Gak, we've barely been on ground for ten minutes. We survived the mind flyer kind, sir. This is a cause for celebration. You see shot glasses fall to the ground, or gently get set on the ground. 
It is a blue liquid that looks like a lighter shade of blue is swimming in it, almost. As you... Who picks up their shot first? You pick it up and instantly you hear in your head, Don't! Don't drink me, please! No! I am a prince among my people! Ah, I down it. You down it. I need you to do a constitution saving throw for me. You want that at disadvantage because it's a double or no? Yes. Gotcha. Go big or go home. By the way, you never told us your name now, did you? Not bad. 15 with disadvantage. 15. (laughs) Um, You take three points of intellect damage. (laughs) Poor intellect. (laughs) (laughs) As you are thoroughly fucked up. Intellect damage will come back on a short rest. What fun. I'm going to drink. Uh, as you pick up your shot glass, please, I have children. No, no, don't do, don't do it to me. Oh. <laughs> con save. Yep, con save at disadvantage. You got it. Ah, <laughs> that's a nat one. <laughs> you take six points of intellect damage, and you're having trouble keeping form because you're fucked up. <laughs> I warned you. Next. You'll see Side Out just raise his shot glass to our new friend, whose name uh, we do don't, not know don't, yet. Don't, please, please. Uh, I, I, I have a wife. Uh, she's pregnant. Sorry, buddy. And down the hatch. <laughs> see Quan lift up her drink. Is this... Are we drinking a living thing? It's not alive. It's a psychic imprint. The, the entire bar is saying that. He's new here, so she has to get used to things. So the rest of you take your shots, ignoring the pleas of whatever creature you're devouring? I already have a creature living inside my brain. I'm fine. <laughs> uh, by the way, all of you have your magical items on your character sheets now. Please review them. Uh, you might have to tune to them, but some of them require attunement. And I would like a perception check from all of you. 25. That's about right. Just five. 21. 21, That's, 25. That fits. That's a natural one. All right. <laughs> um, multiple things happen at the same time. You see two large ogres stand over your table. Where's Captain Lack? I'll stand up. Who's asking? Bolinar. As you see a couple people, when they hear that name, they kind of inch their chairs away from you. You know Bolinar as one of the seedier people in the Rock of Brawl. Uh, and you also know that Captain Lack did owe him some money. Well, I regret to inform you. He was no longer with us. Go oh, soon. Gone. Kasun will stand up. Yeah, his brain. Mind flares. Eaten. So who's mm. taking over? Why? Off my cigar. Be me. Mm. Then Bolinar wants to talk to you. Bolinar can talk. Let's go. Where the captain goes, the first mate goes. Second mate. Second mate goes too. (laughs) Two people only. The rest of you. No. Mm-mm. 
No. So soon you are also no, right. You guys hang back here. I'm gonna mm -mm. take our new friend. Mm mm. No. If right. Yeah. To go. Captain's mm -mm. orders. Mm mm. Fine. <laughs> fine. Oh, I'm gonna uh -oh. take that. Fine. <laughs> All right. So who who are you taking with you, Shadow? Quan. Quan. All right. Don't worry, we'll bring your captain back. I would appreciate that. You, don't want you to better have another election for another one. <laughs> don't right. mind them. They've they've had the cuttlefish shots. I'm not you drunk, know. Captain. We <laughs> know what you look like, and I'm gonna take on a plasmoid Just form of the ogre guy. <laughs> lead the way. Let's go. The nose is a little off, but otherwise, good job. Thank you, and I'm gonna be drunk again. <laughs> All right, they lead Shadow off. We'll get back to you, Shadow. Kasun, so or I'm sorry, glad. Seidel. You hear just off in the corner. It's like it, it's not even in the bar area. It's got to be in the alleyway. Um, let me hold on. I got to roll to see what you hear. I've got a random table here. Okay. Um. You just hear, well, that's a pretty sword there, Missy. Why don't you uh, hand that over and I'll show you how to handle a sword. A real oh. sword. Do I see this guy? You don't. You hear it. And you hear a, another a female voice saying, I, I don't want any trouble. I just, I, I'm just trying to find my way. Uh... Saito is just going to nudge Quan and be like, come with me no, for Qua a second. Quan is with oh, Shadow. I'm oh, not Quan, uh, Gak. Okay. Right, come with me a second. And Saito will head off to um, investigate. Kasun, will uh, you join them? Yes. You're going to leave me, in, leave, leave me behind? All right. Now, as far as the intoxication goes, you guys are now, the time has passed that you're slightly buzzing. Okay, oh. cool. I was still, I was still playing it. I, I like know. I was fucked up. You guys leave the bar area, and you can hear voices off to, into the alleyway on the side. And as you approach, you hear the other part of this conversation. Oh, don't worry, Missy. We'll take you where you need to go. Should treat you real nice, all of us. Oh hell! That won't be necessary. <laughs> As you round the corner saying that, you see a beautiful elven female, platinum blonde hair, wearing um, leathers, um, fitted leather armor, uh, and she's holding in her hand, it's not out yet, but a beautifully made rapier. Um, she looks a little worried, and you see three other ruffians. Uh, Sorry, we're late, ma'am. We just landed. The one that was talking will look over to you. He's missing some teeth. He's definitely out of shape, has a misshapen beard. Um, one eye is completely white. He has a scar going through uh, from the top of his forehead down through the eye. This doesn't concern you. We're just having a little chat so here it with does our... concern us actually this lady hired us to assist her see she kind of strains up that's right this is my crew that i have hired let's see and yeah, she does pretty good on her deception and i advise you to get out of my way looks over to Seidel and Gak and Kasun. Are you guys doing anything? I Again. am taking Sorry we're late, ma'am. Human form. Um, as tall as my human form will allow me to get. Alright. Roll an intimidation check for me. Intimidation. Please don't fuck me, dice. See you fucked me. Uh ten. Ten? Alright. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Well, that's a natural two. Mm -hmm. Alright, alright, fine. 
We'll see you. We'll show you a real sword later. As they start to walk off. Selvin female comes up. Huh. Thank you for that. Of course. Um. Do you mind if I, uh. If I have a drink with you? Sure. Right. We're just at a table nearby. That's and good. And I would just for her to follow, to follow. Have you tried the cuttlefish? Ah, uh, yes. I, I, I don't particularly care for that. I, I like my food not talking to me. Um, That's mine good. had a wife, and then I just go back to the seat. <laughs> That's uh, a little disoriented. He and my other cohort here, how soon, uh, had a double. Uh, we are we are fine. I'm I'm doing I'm doing good. Are are you hurt at all? Did they accost you? Ah uh, no no I'm not hurt. Thank you though. Um, I'm How actually... about your twin sister standing next to you? Is she okay? <laughs> huh? No. <laughs> like I said earlier, ma'am, Gak is a little buzz. Ah uh, ah. Uh. No, I'm uh. Well, I'm looking for work, actually. Um, looking for work, eh? Ah, uh, yeah. I uh, kind of got accosted here. And I'm trying to find my way home. And until then, I'm trying to earn a little coin to help that. Uh, how is it first mate? Should, should we mention this to the captain? I think we have a, uh, a responsibility to do so. Um... <laughs> Do you have a prepared document with the history of your records? Um, no. But I'm actually pretty good with with my sword. Um, ah. And I can heal a little bit. That's what we were missing. A healer. I'm right here. <laughs> I'll soon, to be fair, you faded out last time. Uh, Having well, a little extra help while you're doing second duty. I can. Wouldn't I be can, a bad idea. I can heal. Uh, I, but it'd be, it would be great to have another person that can heal. Because uh, I get shy. I, I, I can heal. I'm just. It's not my primary focus. Um, What's your primary disposition? She looks down to her rapier. <laughs> Cool. Great, okay. great, great, but up here, yeah. <laughs> so it goes. Whoosh. It served me well. Ah, right, okay. going back to Shadow. <laughs> Shadow, you are led into a building, led downstairs into another like under city type of area, going through different alleyways until you come into a ramshackle office. And you see Bolinar for the first time. Bolinar is... You don't really know what race. I've given you the description before, but not on stream. But I'll say it now. Bolinar is as if Jabba the Hutt let himself go. You see, he's pouring some oilish liquid into his mouth, a lot of it dribbling down onto his body, not even caring. Uh, who's this now? I told you to get Captain Lack. The fine's an in, and they owe me some money. Well, it'd be kind of difficult for them to bring him to you since he's uh, floating up in space somewhere without a brain. Uh, mind flayers? Yep. Nasty Bastard. fucking critters. Oh yeah, they're on my list. Right now it's a very short list. Well, I bet. Uh, I better be on top. And their payment to me. My list is. Uh, never mind. I don't think you want to be on my list. Well. You have my money? Why would I have your money? The ship owes me money. 
You take over the ship, you take on the debt. Well, that's all lovely and all. But I can't bring you what I don't have. That's disappointing. Yeah, I don't like well, being disappointed. Join the club. It's been one disappointment after a fuck another. Well, you guys actually... You got a little bit of luck. I had another ship out on a, on a run. And I haven't heard anything back from them. See, I got an intra inside track on uh, one of those fallen gods out there in wild space. This one was kind of recent. And I wanted to harvest some of their innards. Unfortunately, Grassy Hills has not been heard of. That was about a week ago. You are going to go and investigate what happened to them. And if possible, obtain any samples you can from that dead god. Come back. Debt's cleared. Have a deal? Well, you have to wait till our ship's fixed. Assuming we can even pay for it. Mind flares. Like I said. Alright. Ship go. Boom. Tell you what. I will get your ship partly repaired. But you have to go out immediately. As soon as it's done. Well, and you're going to take Gek here. See, the ogre nods his head. So I got a Gek and a Gag. Don't be offended if I fuck up your name on occasion. You can just call me G then. Works. That's good. I'm kind of shorthanded. Again, mind flayers. Boom. Well, hurry back. I want to know what happened to my money. If you are able to harvest some of uh, fluid, organs, whatever, I'll give you a bonus. You'll actually get paid instead of just wiping out your debt. Definitely use the funds. I know, I'm a fucking saint, ain't I? Oh, yeah. Alright. Capital S. Definitely capital F. He waves his hand. Alright, I'm done with you. Get going. By the way, how much did the cap owe you anyway? 3,000 gold. Holy fucking shit. What do you need that for? You seem to remember a time where the ship had needed repairs, had no food, you guys were low on work, and all of a sudden, he had a nice meal for you all. He had more lines on the, um, different scavenging jobs, and you guys went through your rough patch rather easily that's probably why well I'm guessing he used that money to take care of us so if that's the case I'm glad to pay it back it's only fair it's how business is done and that is where we're going to end our session for tonight so, we're going to end our session how we end all of our sessions. With bitches, gripes, complaints, comments, questions answered. We'll go for the person who got promoted this stream. Shadow. Uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting to be a captain. <laughs> Somebody's got to be. Alright, well, yeah. Um, yeah, this is a lot of fun. I'm really kind of sad that my whole turn in combat was wasted on setting up <laughs> cool shit that I never got to use but hey don't uh, worry I next time 
I promise you, you will find combat with that. <laughs> promise. Well, I have no doubt. Uh, next, we'll have our newly acquired sorcerer, Seidel. This is definitely different from Han Deer. I feel like Seidel <laughs> just became uh, the mouthpiece of the group and yet somehow doesn't know how to control his powers fully yet. Very cool, very cool. Next I, mean, I got a 20 in charisma, so I gotta use it somehow. Yep. Well, I mean, you can still be shy, and uh, there was an article on D&D Beyond how to play a shy character with high charisma. So I would definitely check that out, and that could give you some other ideas and um, some uh, inspiration. Next, we'll have our fluid member, Gak. I just want to say to uh, Shadow that as player of Sazen, I feel your pain. <laughs> that entire first round is just for setup. Um, it was fun. Gak went through some iterations tonight. I had one vision, went with a different direction after that. Uh, it's been fun. <laughs> well, you are playing a very fluid character, so it's you got to be loosey-goosey with it. <laughs> Absolutely. And last but not least, we have our healer. I um it was a great session. I I I'm glad somebody took the captain position. Uh cuz let me tell you Kushun would not make a good captain. He just mm, -mm nope. Mm. And I, I mean I mean it is what it is. Yep. Did you guys really expect the janitor to just be like, "I'll be the captain even though I'm just a janitor." <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course I'm going to pick the person who was close to the captain. So, I'm wondering if either of you or if any of you have picked up on the two ties to your original characters. There were two of them. One's obvious. I got it, but I just want to see if anybody else got it. Uh, <laughs> well, you have the color star, Circle of Star yeah. Druids. That is definitely a reference to Corey. Clearly, yeah. Almost went without saying. The Warforge, I think, was definitely related to Han Deer somehow. Nope. I was going to say because he started up a community of Warforge. Yep, that is true. But, um, no, nope, we'll, we'll share that. I'll share That will come with time. I'm going to hold on to that little secret until oh. it's obvious. And Josh's brain is going to melt. Because it's Already filled with melting. lore. Filled with lore. It's already melting, dude. When you, when you said Eberron, my brain was... I know so much about Eberron. You you said Fairhaven? I was like, oh, buddy. Oh, here we go. Well, oh. and the College Star had to find their way to Jesredin. I wonder how they did yeah. that. I Perhaps wonder. Quan is the progenitor of the College Star race on Jesredin. Possibly. So, we will see where this story unfolds. Again, this is still Divine Heresy. Uh, we are doing a mini chapter of Spelljammer since it just came out and I had some good ideas, I hope. And uh, we will be returning back to the main story here in about four to six sessions. However, what they learned in here in this mini chapter will affect the main story. And your original characters will have memory of everything that goes on. On the off chance that one of you wants to swap your main characters that to their Spelljammer character, that is possible as well. But we'll see how that plays out. So, let us find a nice person to raid here real quick. Um, most of the people on my list are playing Dead by Daylight, because that's what I like to play a lot. Um... I am trying to... Does anybody have any suggestions on who to raid right now? Because I'm just going to look for another RPG channel. I personally do not. Alright, well let's see... I have a couple RPG. We're going to go with somebody with... You know what? Eberron into the unknown. I fucking love Eberron. You're describing kind of happened. So let's go ahead and raid, raid these folks. 
thank you everybody who came to watch I definitely appreciate it um, we will be off next week we'll be back on uh, the following week on Monday same time 7 Eastern Standard Time till 10 because I have to get ready to go to work now so this is 20 sides to every story I kind of like their I like their name oh, I have to make sure I type that correctly I hope you all have a good night remember to take care of each other and treat everybody with kindness and we are going to raid and we are off is it is it the elven wo woman is it the elven woman I don't know you've sealed them is it's that the one the elven woman? It, it's gotta be because <laughs> the only thing popping in my head is Kyrus loved an elven elven woman I thought we were making Mia 2.0. Worked. I have no idea. Am I? Am I on the mark? Am I on the mark? <laughs> Maybe. Possible. <laughs> My brain is melting. But hey, bless came in clutch. Let me just say really that. Did. I did not realize that you could just repeatedly use that. And you could see Noltash kind of nodding, like like you're yep. saying something profound. It, pause it for a second. says. Thanks for the raid and the follows uh, from uh, Nightstall. Uh, night Huzzah. I have a lot of stuff uh, I didn't even get that. to use. Uh, we're just doing a little Eberron <laughs> tonight, a um, little homebrew. Whenever a target makes an attack campaign, roll or a saving uh, throw before the spell ends, it can add a d4 for and add it to the number. So, uh, but Noltash nods along. Like I didn't even get sort of into my features and traits, know, which all my I spells know, are going to be twilight the themed. So expect a lot of that. To protect us, but at some point we have to fight. But back. I can fly. I can teleport. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can punch things a lot. I can give myself or somebody advantage on initiative. There you go. Oh yeah, you guys. Um, you guys have a lot of tools at your. At, at your disposal i cannot wait to i have a scene next session that is going to answer your question um my question yes on who's who's the next person and it's gonna fucking blow your goddamn mind <laughs> i, I want to get that on stream damn it oh damn it <laughs> oh, bitch. now you have to wait two weeks for that oh man Ray, and let's see. So yeah, it's the. Well, we might have to wait longer. The two weeks is that's my surgery week. Yeah. Um. Do you guys want to play next week and then take the next week off? It works for me. We'd be done for that. It should be good. Or else we'd have to take like at least a two week break. And I'm planning on only a two-week break because I'm planning on beating all the odds. So, of course, that's what's gonna happen. What about you, Joey? My schedule is real hectic, so I honestly have no clue what my next Monday is gonna look like. I'm gonna try to make it. Okay. Um, okay. but like my my lab for digital art is so demanding. Um, but I'll let you know well, it's by a the weekend, day, right? Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, it then yeah. Off. Then hell yeah, I'm available. All right, cool. <laughs> then we'll do that on Labor Day. Um, all right, that's good. All right, I got to get ready for work and head out. Got to let my dog out. Um, I hope you got in guys enjoyed it. I did not, and I ended up not going with Foundry, even though I did have a not Lloyd map. But I figured I'd use that for when you guys get your revenge. Yes. Which yeah. is coming. Because it does have like animated stars flying past, nice. and all that. So, all right, I gotta bust out. I hope you all, all right, enjoyed. Have a good night. Have a good night. Night. Bye bye. Night.